Hey guys, Logan here. So, update 4.1 for Battlefield 2042 is on its way. Release next week, most likely on Tuesday, March 28th, simply because Tuesdays is DICE's favorite day of releasing stuff. Today we got the full patch notes and in this video we're gonna go through the more relevant stuff but if you'd like to read the full patch notes I will leave a link in the description down below. Now let's check out the patch notes. Starting with the mid-season event that will go live soon, called Leviathan Rising from what we heard in the previous podcast and the info reads like this. A special division has begun to stir. The next mid-season event is just around the corner. You can expect brand new themed cosmetics to earn alongside the ability to jump into a new mode that will task you with getting up close and personal with your enemy. But for now, one question remains. Will you be able to shut down the Leviathan in time? Okay, that sounds interesting. Wonder what that Leviathan thing is. Maybe the machine that's been talked about on the Flashpoint map. But we have more info on that when we get closer to the launch of the event. Next up is the new Walt weapons. We got three new ones coming in update 4.1. The AEK-971 and the RPK-74M and a new secondary called MP-433. All of these have different assignments that you will have to complete to unlock them just like any other Walt weapon. Okay, armor plates have been a hot topic for a while now and these are going to change in the next update. Armor protection benefits will only apply to the torso area of the character and no longer provide protection for the entire body. That's a great change, I always felt like hitting someone in the head should kill instead of hitting armor first. So yeah, great change dice. Specialist masteries will be improved slightly. You can say that the requirements will be lowered a bit and make it a bit easier to get the masteries with certain specialists. And now some gadget changes. The smoke grenades will now explode underwater. Friendly claymores are now displayed on the minimap, the tracer dart can no longer lock on through large environmental objects, and the tracer dart now allows friendlies to lock onto stealth helis even when they are in stealth mode. Some specialist gadget changes that I think you should know. Casper's recon drone now deals damage to claymores, C5 anti-tank grenades and proximity sensors, and the drone can also EMP spawn beacons that the ram can put out, you know, the large ones. So being able to deal damage to Claymore C5 and the anti-tank grenades, yeah, that's really gonna bring out some really cool and fun gameplay. Imagine just sitting there with a drone and just waiting for the tank and just blow that C5 up with the EMP drone. And the tanker goes like, what the hell was that? But yeah, that's really fun. And here is something that I don't think everybody knew. Falk can no longer be able to heal a ranger with the Surrette pistol. Yes, this was a thing, but removing it, it makes sense. And Irish Shootdown Sentinel now intercepts the Ghost Maker's explosive bolts. So that's a really nice change. There you have a great amount of good changes and fixes in update 4.1 and it will go live next week. Most likely on March 28th. We'll see about that. As always, I would love to hear what you think about this. So tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and you won't miss any Battlefield news. Hit the like if you enjoyed the video. I really much appreciate that. And hope to see you in my next one. This is Logan, signing up.